Do any of you have a certain smell or scent or aroma that appeals to you? Um, I, I have one. You know, most people, they like the smell of like the pie that gravitates you on a hot summer day, like it's say on a windowsill, and you know, you see the, uh, the smoke stuff from the oven and just sitting there and it, you gravitate towards it. Um, some people are just like, you know, a little girl thing. They like to smell flowers and daisies and, you know, get euphoria from that. Ugh. And, oh God, and some people just like, um, uh, the smell Airwick gives to a house. Some people like the new car smell. But, um, I have a smell that I don't know if a lot of people like, but I, I definitely like it. It's, I mean, a lot of people probably don't like it at all, but I love it. And it's not something I would promote that, like, the thing that produces it is not something I would promote. And you could probably tell that I'm talking about drugs. Um, yeah, so, um... Do any of you like the smell of cigarettes? I love the smell of cigarettes. I know that's weird, but um, it just, you know, it gives this nice, like you feel, a you feel connected to people when you smell cigarette because everyone tries to get through the day and some people need to, you know, to, like to, uh, to, you know, they'll either do that to feel good or to feel cool or, you know, maybe they're sad about something and they just need to, like, stand there in the rain and just, uh, like, that. And then they take out their saxophone. And I always like that guy by, like, the metro or the subway. They take out their saxophone and they just... I can't to make noise as well. And... Oh, what? I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So I, and, uh, anyways, you, yeah, what if, like, someone did that in the middle of a concert? Like, there's, you know, a bunch of saxophonists, and then there's one guy who's really passionate about their instrument. So they get up, and they just, you know, they, they think they're doing a good thing, but they just buzzkill everything. And, like, they just get really into it. And, and, God, wow. Whenever I play music, I'm sorry, my voice just follows it, and it starts to sound like a preacher, and, and, yeah, right there. So, you know, what if a guy just got really into it, you know, he just lost himself in it, he thought people would like that, um, I, I, that's not, that's like a, a sharp, or some, whatever music tone it is, but, you know, everyone else is sitting down, and then the guy just you know, does that because he thinks everyone's gonna like that he did that and his passion. Encore, encore, but then it's just awkward, and it's like, okay, you know, this dude needs to go. I was talking about cigarette. You know, guys, I feel like guys who are passionate on their saxophones and play cigarette. That's I love that. I I I think that. Like, I don't think a cool person is someone who gives into peer pressure or, like, drinks or smokes. Okay, okay what am I talking... Like, that, that's the exception. The guy, the saxophonist who, like, you know, just tries to make money. And he has his, like, guitar case So It's like, he has a guitar case, but for some reason he's playing a saxophone. He has a, a, or a saxophone case open. And you, people drop little uh, coins in there. And... Um, you just like, I'm in the city and I don't really have a job, so I'm playing a saxophone and I'm trying to tell you how sad I am but happy at the same time to play a saxophone and that's all I need but I probably could use a job. And, ah, uh, damn it, God. Anyways, yeah, I like the smell because you just feel a connection to people. I also like the smell when I was, uh, high school, I was, I, I was on the cross country and track teams, uh, like, like some of the, I alternated 
I was always on cross country, but sometimes on track. And I just got on the bus in the morning, and I was tired. And then I could tell that I could. I, you smell it in the like green seats, the dark green seats with um, like gum on it. And you could tell the bus drivers just going through something because you smell the cigarette, and they have to wake up at like 4 a.m. And their their life is kind of hard, and like people don't really appreciate them much. Like you know, they get a pleasure, and people will say thank you. Uh, you know, the kids are like thank you. Oh, they get off the bus, but um, but yeah, like that's that's their form of reassurance. Some people are happy with that. You know, like my other video, like what you do, like that would justify why you'd be happy with being a bus driver. But if you don't like being a bus driver it's hard and and cigarettes will probably help them and you just you know and they're just i don't know there's just something cool about it like like an urban thing and you, you know and some i think i think when you combine sadness and cigarettes it's cool when you combine happiness and cigarettes it's just you being stupid and giving yourself lung cancer and like a hole in your throat but when you don't do that when oh, i what why am i talking like this but when you don't i'm a like a preacher or something when you don't do that you just um you know you're just it's a rainy day and you're depressed and you just uh, i'm smoking and it's a moonlit night and your friend comes and you just offer him a smoke and he takes it and yeah so anyways i i you know it looks some there are places where it just looks cool and places where it smells good and it like you know it puts a good mood and uh and feeling in there and that's just my take on cigarettes like i i'm not i wouldn't do it but that does not mean it doesn't look cool in some contexts.